Curse of Hype Beast. Fear of God Essentials reveals their contemporary spring 2023 collection. Fear of God Essentials. Man, I don't know what happened to Fear of God Essentials. I don't know why it happened or when it happened. But Fear of God Essentials went from like being like just a couple of hoodies and t-shirts here and there that people used to buy to being its own really fully fledged kind of subset of fear of god the main label so before when jerry lorenzo launched fear of god it felt like this like it was all one and i think after a period in time he started to realize that there was a divide between these customers there was a split there was a customer that wanted to buy his sort of like you know what you'd quote to be like ready to wear collection in terms of fear of god and those people that wanted just to buy the sweats and the comfy shorts and the hoodies and whatnot and the t-shirts and the bomber jackets that he made under the essentials label and for me personally this is a real credit to his ability to design because for the most part, without, with, with some exception, most of it is monochromatic. Most of it is just colors, right? Just real dull, kind of like washed out colors. And really the emphasis is put on the shapes, but there's no prints. There's no crazy patterns. There's no crazy appliques. Um, there's no, you know, flipping bedazzlements everywhere he's just selling the strength of these sweats and these flipping comfy you know garments based on their shape and what they feel like and whatnot and people are going crazy for them and if anything the funny part about it is what i think is really cool fear of god essentials to me feels like um feels like the feels like the sub label right or maybe the cheaper version of fear of god but when i see people wearing it i see people wearing fear of god essentials t-shirts and hoodies to the club like flexing it like it's mainline fear of god do you know what i mean that's the thing that's really cool about it even though it's meant to be the, the you know the, the comfy loungy relaxed maybe youth side of fear of god i've seen adults take that garment and really kind of lux it up by wearing it with pride and feeling like yeah this is the thing and wearing it on the same level that you'd wear like a balenciaga thing or whatnot or a gucci thing or whatnot or prada that says a lot about his design and his ability to kind of put clothes together man because it's really really cool even though i wouldn't specifically wear it myself i think that really does say a lot about him as a designer and how much he's kind of progressed over the years and as you can see here um you know the sweatpants the shape of them is always absolutely smashing i love this uh drop crotch which is basically his signature a little bit um and if i'm not mistaken this comes from rick owens which is quite cool to see him develop because i think the first bits of fear of god that i initially saw when he first launched it kind of felt a little bit copy copy you know copyish to me because a lot of it felt like it was influenced by early heady slamena saint Laurent, and of course um rick owens but over time he has kind of you know made it his own so he took the drawstrings that you would know from you know rick owens pants that were usually always white and obviously made them to be tonal um he took the crotch pant the crotch the drop crotch sort of style on most of the pants that rick owens would do or shorts and kind of made it his own i'm sure he's got a particular shape that he likes and even just the shape of the leg the you know he used to always like the kind of uh, that banana style leg where it kind of like big at the top kind of went down skinny to the bottom had that kind of wide cut on it but just the look of it the stack of it is really really done well like i'm a real big fan of what he does honestly with this type of stuff um like i said because it's you know it's essentially all sweats but he's able to kind of lux it and make it look really really premium and you know even this stuff he's got looking here it looks amazing it's kind of like a the lookbook here looks like kind of like 80s type style with these really great amazing pop socks on the feet of the girls you've got these amazing skirt type of sweatpant looking thing which i'm sure a lot of dudes will end up wearing also this nice sort of like what looks to me to be like kind of active wear looking stuff but yeah all of it looks amazing the colors are always great the pictures are great this model for fear of god always smashes it i forgot his name he's got a kid he's always on social he's really cool it all looks really great with the socks going over the trainers it's definitely giving 80s but yeah people are saying yeah wade harris yeah saying fear of god vans yeah definitely fear of god vans were pretty sick but yeah he does a really really amazing job with fear of god um essentials i think jerry lorenzo and it goes without saying like i think this is kind of it, it doesn't get the credit it deserves because maybe it's you know a lot of kids wear it especially in the hood from where i am at a lot of it maybe isn't real but it doesn't matter it still gets the brand out there but i do think this goes this gets this is underrated what he's able to do like even this pant this pant is crazy it's like a looks like a a brushed or like a cotton mix or something with these amazing drawstrings nice and loose the shape of it is absolutely banging and i like the fact that the model is wearing these ballet these ballet pumps on them like the mix between the ballet pumps with the sweats with the hoodie is so so good i love everything about it to be fair the ballet flats with the pumps on it, it looks really cool 
nice t-shirt the styling the layering is always great um this he's done really well again i'm not really a fan of the sleeveless hoodie but i think he's definitely i feel like pioneered whatever this cut and this shape is of this um what you'd call i guess like a it's, it's like a short sleeve sweat top but then it's also got a long sleeve stitched on underneath I'd imagine it is. Um, that's how usually, and I like that um, thing because I, I see that and I immediately think of fear of God, or I see like a stripe on the side of a trouser. I think fear of God. So it's definitely some easy, real cool design little coats that he's done. And again, most of it is just like you know what you'd call to see quintessential kind of sweat colors that he's been able to kind of make his own. I really, really like the look of that. Even the logo here on the socks being at the front, that's really cool. These really long socks that you could wear with like high tops or Jordans or whatnot, or even Rick Owens, and you can kind of put them on and have the label there. It kind of gives you a little bit of a panache going there. But yeah, everything about this I absolutely love. I actually love how it sits, how it looks. And over time, I've, I've seen Fear of God basically everywhere, especially the essential stuff, everywhere, literally everywhere. This look here, number 20, oof. It's absolutely powerful. I love this. This kind of like um, dusty, dark green type of color looks really nice. Um, I love the tonal look on the logo without it being too crazy. The essentials written on there looks really nice. Um, nice bag as well. Again, the styling is always great. I wonder if he works with a stylist or it's just all Jay Lorenzo doing it because it did, these all do look like Jay Lorenzo fits. That's what I like about it. Also, it looks like stuff that he would actually wear. Like this look is absolutely powerful with the bot with the what's it? What do you call it? like a quarter zip um, zip jacket that looks like a puffer with a sweat underneath and the cut on those pants. The drawstring how that sits is great. Nice big pockets, nice long drawstring. You could probably tighten the hems at the bottom also. All of it looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love every every little thing about it, to be fair. It looks really good. Oh, this blue outfit's really nice too. This oversized. Oh, I like this look. This kind of reminds me of, um, unfortunately, like an idiot. I lost mine, but I had this Balenciaga padded over shirt um, that, you know, a lot of people kind of had at the time. It was blue check and I've been left at a rave somewhere. But it reminds me of the same sort of cut. It's got probably invincible pockets on here. Um, and it's kind of oversized, but then, Instead of having uh, buttons, which the Balenciaga one I had have, this one has a zip, which I kind of like the look of, to be fair. And it looks like it might be, is it corduroy? It might be corduroy, actually. Looking at it, it might be corduroy. That's really nice. And it's sort of like a washed out blue color with the same color of the pants. But yeah, I'd, I'd wear the hell out of that look, to be fair. That's definitely one of my favorite looks of the whole collection. I'd wear the hell out of this from head to toe. No doubt about it. And of course, you've got the other ones well with the women's looks also. that look really nice. This bag is awesome massive strap on there what well, is like a suede bag really lovely the color combination is really cool here with the yellow with the blue with that sort of what would you call that magenta purple red burgundy sort of color the styling tip there with the sweatpants on top of another pair of sweatpants pulled up it's absolutely banging also everything about this is good You've got some kids featured in there good crop tops that that puffer jacket thing this is probably gonna be very popular we're definitely going to be seeing this on the on the on the on the city street somewhere near you very soon. That jacket looks really really cool. I love the look of that. Nice spring jacket. Those pants there look really nice also. So yeah, big up, big up, big up, Jay Lorenzo and Fear of God Essentials. Let's go to the article here. It says on um, on a spring color palette, the collection includes a mixture of Fear of God signatures and new silhouettes. Those that um, look familiar are made of new fresh tones and ever so slightly um, reimagined silhouettes while never before seen styles push the brand further into the modern category. Made with um, considering textiles, not only is it composition, but it's, very, it's, vers it's versatility too. Um, among the range of shirts, trench coats, polo shirts are crafted of myriad of fabrics, including thick waffle, woven nylon, Milano stitch, and corduroy, as I said. Meanwhile, washed denim trucker jackets. Oh, nice. What well, that was. Pair well with classic jeans and tones. The cash of the first delivery will be arriving on March 8th, or the second delivery on April the 5th. Items will be available to purchase in men's, women's, and kids' sizes. Check out Feel Good Essentials in the gallery above. So, yeah, coming to you very, very, very soon. But I like it. I wouldn't be surprised if, if somewhere, you know, he probably would never say because you know it's none of our business but it wouldn't surprise me if fear of god essentials probably ends up doing more business revenue wise than mainline fear of god it wouldn't surprise me because legitimately i see it worn everywhere literally everywhere you see it worn especially when it comes to like young kids or quote-unquote urban communities like myself you definitely see it everywhere so yeah big up jerry lorenzo absolutely smashing you out there big up big up jerry lorenzo